Let's walk through the steps on how to diagnose low oil pressure on an LS motor. I mean very low oil pressure, under 10 PSI when you have a major problem. First thing you do is you get yourself a mechanical gauge like this or rent one or whatever. I got this from O'Reilly, it was like $20. Get one of these pl adapter plugs online, they're super cheap. Get it shipped in on Amazon in like two days, same day sometimes, depending on where you're at, whatever. Verify the oil pressure. This motor had like five PSI at idle. All of a sudden, in like a couple of days, it dropped from 40 to 50 PSI at idle all the way down to five or four. So, after that, verify that. If, you, if this is still showing low oil pressure, go to the oil pump, an oil ring. So, sorry. You gotta take the whole front of the motor report, obviously. Get to the oil pump, check the O-ring. In this case, the O-ring was still brand new. This motor only has a few miles on it since it's a full build. Open up the oil pump. If the O-ring's still good, open up the oil pump. Check the pressure relief valve right here. Make sure it's closed all the way. There's a spring in here that keeps pressure on this little piston. Keeps it all the way up. If it's, if it's down and you can see a gap going all the way up in there, it's a problem. This one's fine. So there's nothing wrong with the oil pump. Next, if you still haven't found it, look at the cam, pull the camshaft out, which means you got to put some dowels in there to hold up the lifters. Pull the camshaft out. See if any of the cam bearings are not in place. On this one, I had a number two cam bearing that had walked out. And it walked out so far that it was hitting the lifter. The lifter was actually digging a hole through it until it walked out far enough for the oil pressure to bleed past the bearing. And that's why it dropped to almost zero. If you still didn't see a problem, all the cam bearings look to be in the right places. Check to make sure that this plug right here has not come out. By now, if that plug's in not or if that plugs in there, I mean, you should have found the problem by now. Either the O-ring was bad, the oil pump was bad, or the camshaft bearings were bad. If you've got like almost no oil pressure. If you still don't, then you can take a look at your crankshaft bearings, but then the motor's gonna have to come out because you can't really get to them with the motor in the car. Because you've got a, a spun crankshaft bearing that's destroyed that'll be your last problem that you can find but generally you're gonna find it here either in the oil pump the oil pump o-ring or the cam bearings and in the next video I will show you how to replace a cam bearing without removing the motor or the crankshaft or anything like that just as it is right now I've already removed the old the two cam bearings, the, the front one and the number two one that, that moved back. And I'll show a quick video of how to put the new bearings up in there. A little myth buster video because people say that you cannot do it without removing the motor, but it's not true.